Hello, everyone. Welcome to Valley Homes on TV. You are watching us on Channel 26. That's your local ch uh, TV channel. We air on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6.30 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. I'm Debbie Giordano, your host, along with Todd Flesner. Hey, Deb. How are you? Hey, really good. It's mm. hot outside today. You know, it's, it's summertime. Things are, are heated up. And we're we're going to talk about a hot event coming up. Hot event? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> We've got some great guys and guests here. Uh, would you like me to do the introduction? Would you please? I would love to. I have two. Uh, actually, uh, two personal friends of mine. We have Eric Emanuel, who's represented with the uh, Police Officers Association today, and he'll be talking about that great event that we got coming up. And competing hmm. with Eric is Steve King, representing the firefighter local union, Melpitas Union. Yes. yes. So welcome, guys. Thank, um, you. Thank you. Hope you're going to enjoy doing the show yes. and letting the public know about the carnival that's coming up for our Rotary Club. Right. right. Well, this has been an annual event that the Rotary Club has done, and we got a new kind of spin or twist on this as well that I think folks are going to be interested in. And so, um, you know, Eric, maybe you could talk to us a little bit about what that event is. You want to spill the beans? Sure. <laughs> 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 um, June 21st through the 24th, the Rotary will be sponsoring a carnival that's going to take place at the um, Walmart. Walmart at 301 Ranch Drive. Mm -hmm. And on the 24th, Sunday the 24th, there's going to be a chili cook-off. Nice. This is historically a firefighter's chili cook-off. That's cook right, off. that's right. But this year, the police officers uh, found a great cook, and we're ready to compete against them. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I can't tell you, because <laughs> besides, not only is he a great cook, he was our officer of the year this oh, year. Oh, 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 so, oh okay. yeah. We're ready, we're ready. We have the secret recipe. We have the secret recipe, yeah. and we have plenty of beans, and we're coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got we got to cook ourselves. So. No, I know I've had it. It's good. <laughs> yeah, there is a high bar release, yeah. so I think we can do it. We've done a few of those. Well, let's talk about a little bit background. I mean, are you two? Have you been involved in chili cook-offs before, or do you want to talk about that at this stage? Uh, go ahead, tell us about yours, because mine's limited to I eat. At chili cook-offs. <laughs> I've been chili at chili their chili cook-offs cook cook We are, we are the veteran chili well, cook-offs. Uh, in the past, we've had chili cook-offs at uh, the Saddlerack up in Fremont where the uh, firefighters uh, sponsor a... Uh, I think there's one coming up by yeah, Sure is. So and you're going to be out there? Or? Um, yeah, we're going to be back oh, out there so again this year. So they're going to be... You could sneak in we're undercover. Better, we're we're going to do it that way. <laughs> cop work. <laughs> yeah. and try it. And we've, we've been all the way south as far as uh, Los Angeles uh, to Los Angeles firefighters chili cook-off. And wow. we took uh, second place down there, first place at uh, the one in Fremont uh, a couple years back, and third place there also. Oh, and so, wow. but our cook is gone, but we have some new cooks, new and upcoming <laughs> cooks. I told you the bar was high. <laughs> yeah. We have some celebrities in the town. Yeah. Huh? Well, we certainly do. This well, is awesome. This, this is going to be great. So th now this is the first time ever, I, I understand, that we're doing this here in Milpitas. The, with Rotary, there right, have right. been in the past the firefighters have done chili cookoffs at the Great Mall, right. um, okay, years ago. But this so is the first time that the Rotary has has organized one and invited us all to attend. Terrific! So, and we're tagging this on then with the carnival that'll be over there at you know Walmart, so so folks will see the rides and the lights and those sort of absolutely. things as, as the, the carnival rolls into town. It's a great family event. It's right. absolutely right. perfect. Do we know the hours so we can let the public know? Is it? Um, yeah, it depends on the day, but uh, we'll start on the Thursday afternoon, is my understanding. Mm -hmm. from, For the carnival. Yeah, from four till. But the cookoff is Sunday. The cookoff is Sunday, the twenty fourth. So right. Do we know about the time uh, right now? Later afternoon, or are we? We'll be cooking know. our chili all day yeah, long. All day long. Yeah. Let's just come on down <laughs> yeah. on that Sunday. Yeah. Okay, yes, perfect. No but, uh, tell me how how does a competition like this work? Uh, explain that out. Maybe you're well, you, a little bit better. And you uh, pick out a set of judges, and it's usually probably the Rotary uh, Club mm -hmm. and members of the Rotary Club, and they'll be the judges, and they'll go around, and they'll have chili marked A, B, or C, and then they'll taste the chili, and then you have uh, crowds, best, you know, people's choice, you have uh, best in best in taste, I think it is, something like that, I, I'm not really sure, but so, uh, it depends so on the how the public it. comes in, and they're able to weigh in on right. the choices also, right, how right. fun. So right. is it the chance that we could win multiple trophies? Well, there's a chance. <laughs> Unless you <laughs> start, you <laughs> the ballot box. Yeah, <laughs> there's a chance, and it's really good, I mean, uh, I just I think the competition is really good between police and fire, and it raises you know 
the, the level of awareness out there. And, uh, yeah, for a fantastic cause, because yeah. all the money that we raise that day will be going to Rotary and, and their three charities that they're supporting this year. And but, let's talk about those charities, Todd. Well, yeah, Rotary Club, we have our youth sponsors, our scholarships that we do here in town for our high school students to help support higher education, our, our youth um, enrichment camp, our Camp Ryla that we do, Rotary for Leadership, leadership uh, Camp that happens. Um, and then all sorts of other efforts that the Rotary is involved in. And most recently, in. rebuilding. Uh, you, you did a helm, I saw in your paper just well, a we, few weeks yeah, ago. Well, we, yeah, with the help of the POA, um, we had a number of officers that came out and helped out with that effort as well. We painted the a home here in Milpitas that, that needed that. And so uh, thanks nice. to the cops for coming out and, and letting hand with that. It was, uh, you know, it, it, that was a great event because, you know, you walk in in the morning and pick up the, the paint and the rollers and, you know, by the end of the day, the house is transformed. It was amazing. Yeah. Good job. Well, let me direct the question to Steve. Um, at firefighters, y yeah. your organization, the Milpitas Firefighters, has always been involved in the community. Right, um, right. You, mm -hmm. We've seen you at uh, Relay for Life. Thanks. We've seen you just all over yeah. with the fire trucks and mm -hmm. being involved with the children and other. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us about some of the events and things that your firefighter group gets involved with the community. Usually we start out the year with... Um, uh, the Relay for Life, with this, which is with the Cancer Foundation, raise funds, help raise funds, the PA is involved in that. And then we move on with the 4th of July event at the uh, Air High School. Um, with the swim, at the Swim Center, we raise funds uh, to help um, uh, the Recreation Assistance Program. Okay. And then also then we move on to the Fill the Boot uh, later on in summer in August. What's Fill the Boot? Uh, Fill the Boot is for muscular dystrophy. Uh, Jerry's kids, and nice. we donate the funds there. And then we move into October, and we help out uh, the recreation department with um, uh, what is it, the Oktoberfest, or, or, or some kind of scarathon, or something like that. And then we move on to Thanksgiving. We uh, work with a giving, uh, with a, I think it's a giving tree. Giving tree, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the oh, okay. Foundation. Yes. And then we move into December and, and go with the Toys for Tots right. and the pancake that's breakfast. That's a huge, oh yeah, that's a Santa's so, pancake breakfast. That's, yeah. huge. that's a number of events. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it keeps us busy, but it keeps us in touch with the community. Well, you personally are a member of, you're a, a role model within that organization and mm -hmm. served on the uh, the union and, the, and been a, a big director of those events. So I, I want to thank you for that. Right. Um, if I can move to Eric, what, what do you folks do for the... Well, we are involved in almost everything that Steve said. We, we are ready to go in the next two weeks and work together raising funds for the uh, American Cancer Society, the Relay for Life. I think that right now, I'm going to point out to you, Steve, mm -hmm. we're number one fundraiser, so you guys can step it up. Another competition. As, as of last <laughs> night at 8 o'clock, we were the number one fundraising team for the American Cancer Society. They just kicked it off. I know, okay. I, but, but we're ahead right now. I'm going to tell you that while we have it. You never know. Um, we uh, are, uh, I think that we just uh, raised $500 for the, uh, the, the theater group, I'm sorry, I can't even the theater, theater, theater mm -hmm. that uh, we're going to be doing another fundraiser for them on the 4th of July. Right. Um, wow. As you know, funds have been cut, they're hard to find, and it's a great right. youth group, so we're, um, we are trying really hard to make sure that that's still available. Um, we... Ray, the, the POA and its members um, and the public raise between five and ten thousand dollars a year that we redistribute a hundred percent of what we raise back to the community usually youth groups we've sponsored uh, um, many uh, I, I can't even think of yeah. anything specific right now but it's constant to Rainbow Theater we've done stuff for the swim teams we've done stuff for baseball teams soccer teams um, you name it basically if a, if a youth group comes into town and says that they need help we will do our best to, to help them out. Well, great. You know, the public oftentimes just thinks of you guys as public servants and responding when, you know, when you get the phone call, right? Mm -hmm. But but you guys are out doing more than that behind the scenes, helping to support our community. Well, so thanks for that. You know, I want to add that I forgot the boosters at the high school. We just added those last uh, last year. And so we helped them raise funds uh, from time to time with different Very events. Good. Yeah, good. So back to the chili cook-off. So is, is, is just police and fire, or we have other teams that are going to be there as well? Rumor has it there's going to be other fire teams out there. I don't know if there's any other law enforcement. I think we kind of snaked in the back door yeah. here. Um, <laughs> and I heard that there might be a team coming from Santa Clara County Works. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. um, I think Santa Clara County Fire, fire Department. Right. Um, right. I'm not, sh I'm not, I'm not sure what the other groups that. are. There's still, everybody's still... Okay, so, so, so for sure it'll be between us. Okay. <laughs> wow! <Well, laughs> I mean, you know, now's the time. We can plug it on TV mm -hmm. if anybody's watching. Wh who could they contact 
if they wanted to set up a team and join you guys with the cook officer? Uh, contact how about if they person? contact me and I'll put them in touch with, with the people? Um, I can be reached at uh, 408 586 2400. Um, and if you ask for Eric Emanuel, they'll put you through my voicemail mm -hmm. and I will give you a call back and uh, put you in touch with uh, the coordinators. Good. Terrific. So not only do we have competition here, but we have the opportunity for the community to be involved and participate in this as well, come out and chase in the, the chili. The, 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 the bar is high with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're willing to take it on. Yeah, I think that's a will be fun. It'll be fun. It will be. It will be fun. fun. And again, it's a, it's a great cause. Rotary does some fantastic work in this community, and I'm, and as, as Steve is too, yeah. very proud to be working with them. Rotary, yeah. So I guess awesome. my question would be, would the winner be able to reveal the secret sauce? Oh, no, 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 no. Sounds like is my, it, there's my a mother's famous recipe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a chance for us to, to win again next year. And yeah, I think, uh, I just think it's good, good to work with the Rotary and, and work with the public and, well, we, and raise some funds and have We do appreciate it. So um, one last quick break. Uh, Steve, how long have you been with the fire department? Oh, my goodness. This is my 20th year, and I was a volunteer before that, and so I've been firefighting for over 23, 24 years now. And Eric, you've been, you've actually grown up in the community. I, I moved to Milpitas when I was three years old. I've been here since, and like Steve, I volunteered at the police department. Uh, I have volunteered since 1986 when I was in high school, and I've been a full-time police officer here. This is my 22nd year. Wow. We are blessed to have yeah. such longevity Eric's within our public safety department. So Thank you. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah, you know, you know, thanks for your support of the community and all that you do. Um, you know, we appreciate it, and you know, invite folks to come down, meet us down there, at the Walmart parking lot. Oh yeah, it's gonna June be June twenty fourth, correct? June twenty fourth is the chili cookoff, but the carnival is going from the twenty first to the twenty fourth. Right. Perfect. So, if folks want to come t test the chili, see who's the best in town. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do our best. <laughs> We're going to do our best. And just as a quick thank you gift, we give our guests oh, on Valley Homes nice. on TV. Here is a shirt for uh, Steve. It says thank Valley you, Homes on TV. You can even wear that and wow. chili cook if you yes, want to. And Eric. Well, thank you. you. Thank you very, very much thank for you so much. shooting the show Thanks with us everybody. today. Oh, thank you. Yep, we thank appreciate you. it and the yes, service you do yeah. to our community. It's and really thank you for your support of Rotary. Thank you. Appreciate All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, appreciate it. There is no such thing as a small distraction. A public service reminder from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, who would rather help keep your bones strong than put them back together. Speak out against distracted driving at decidetodrive.org. Giordano, and uh, hey, that was a great segment we did with uh, POA and our firefighters. Yeah, they're really, union. really wonderful men uh, the, serving the community, and I'm excited. I can't wait to taste that chili <laughs> on, on June 24th, though. Well, it's going to be a great competition, and we invite folks to come down and participate in that with us. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Not only is it going to be a lot of fun, but it helps out the community. You give back a little bit, and yeah. so yeah, come join us. Uh, it'll be a great time. It'll be great. Yeah, be really nice. Well, you've been busy. I certainly have. <laughs> I've been emailing you, phoning you, where is Todd? So um, you had told me coming into the show again, uh, again and again and again, you s you've never seen rate interest rates this low. The, this is literally the lowest in my lifetime that I've, that I've ever seen. They, you know, they've been ultra low, and we've, we've hit another little dip here again. Okay. And so, um, you know, that does keep me very busy, and I keep my head down and, you know, and helping folks out in terms of refinancing. And, you know, there are a lot of folks who are entering the, um, the real estate market purchasing as well. So there's been a lot of activity in that regard, uh, folks taking advantage of low rates and, and the opportunity to purchase. And so, yeah, I've been keeping busy and, 
Um, you know, it's the end of the school year. We have graduations and all that we're looking you forward to. You have a daughter well. graduating. I, I, I do. Congratulations to Tara. Tara. Oh. <laughs> Graduates from Milpitas High. And to all the other grads out there as well, congratulations. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. A, yeah, you know, important time of year as, as we celebrate their achievements. So, Well, Todd, I know my clients have really enjoyed working with you. You seem to have a, a knack in terms of um, getting them pre-approved, making sure that the process goes fairly smoothly, that there's very few hiccups. And so I've enjoyed working with you, and I know um, my clients have actually spoken very well of you. I have a question, though, for you. Um, every week you send me an email on the interest rate update, which is cool. I like to see where things are at. So at least coming into the show, I know kind of where we're at. Could folks um, also contact you and get on that uh, I'd be email? I'd delighted to, yeah. I, I have the monthly or I have a weekly newsletter that goes out. Okay, perfect. And it not only just give the current interest rates, but it talks a little bit about what the, the interest rate environment is and, and what are the things in the market that we're watching that are going to be influencing interest rates. So, uh, kind of very uh, informative information with the, uh, the information that trails with that talking about the economy. So, mm. let's let's talk about that. Um, we got an election year coming, a presidential we, election we year, and, and we know historically interest rates are always low during the election year cycles. But this one is very unique. Why is that? And what, what's driving this? Well, you're right. Uh, the Federal Reserve, typically in an election year cycle, likes to kind of stand the sidelines in terms of um, being very active with, with changing the interest rate policy. Right. But moreover, um, you know, we're seeing a lot of influence from international events right now, um, specifically in Europe. Spain, Greece, Portugal, you hear about the um, what's happening there in their debt load. And, uh, you know, what, what, what that has done is it's caused... Um, you know, a lot of concern around the world. You know, are we heading into an economic slowdown? But also with, with those concerns for those sort of um, debt instruments in Europe, um, that makes our debt much more attractive to the world because of the security of it. Okay. Right? So you can buy a, a mortgage-backed security or, or a U.S. bond, um, and the competition for those dollars because of the security of that our rates can be lower. We don't okay. have to pay as high a rate of return. So you're talking about in international, we, we attract international investors. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there is, they talk about a global okay. economy, and that's really the truth, particularly when you talk about investing in, you know, institutional investors. That makes you know, sense. Many of us participate in 401k plans, um, you know, other retirement programs, and so a lot of those funds are active in those markets as well. Yeah. Not yeah. just individual investors. So... Um, you know, and, and with the economic pace that we're at right now, um, you, know, you know, things are slow, and so there's not as much opportunity for a, ra a rate of return in other investment classes. And so, again, it's that tug of war for investment dollars, um, the rate of return versus security. Well, let me tell you, all those buyers that you're pre-approving, mm -hmm. you're sending them <laughs> out into, into our open houses in the field looking. I mean, I have had just tremendous uh, turnaround in terms of open houses, 30, 40 50, you know, groups through, offers, you know, afterwards. And so the inventory is gone. So there was an interesting article in the San Jose Mercury. It's actually this month in May. Selling supply side strategy. It talks about buyer inventory is low, mm -hmm. but buyers are out there. And then it talks about how a seller can position themselves in the listing market um, until the supply comes back to normal. Um, we have about a six-month supply right now of real estate, which is pretty pretty low and uh, traditionally it, that, then that, that doesn't match up to what we would no, expect this time of year that's very low and then uh, that was followed up on May 18th just recently in the business section talked about home sales up across the Bay Area and not only are home sales up but let me tell you how that's translating into the uh, pricing index nope. yeah for please us do okay. so when I talk about home sales being up is that the number of homes that are selling here yeah, it, the, the transaction the, the amount of Yes, the amount of homes and the amount of transactions, which if the inventory was going to be low, you wouldn't see that so high, the, inven the transaction amount. But the, um, the sales ratio is just off the chart, so everything If it is comes moving. on market, it's being sold. It's being sold within reason. So mm -hmm. let me look at April of 2012. Uh, in the Milpitas area, I'm tracking uh, single-family homes. The average price is 546000 Medium price is 496000 A year ago, uh, actually this was interesting, the average price was, was higher a year ago at 576000 
and 530000 was the median price. And I'm not sure why that might be. Um, I'd have to look back on to maybe February. March. I know we were, we were on a rise. Uh, this could just be a blip for this one month in April. Or, Todd, a lot of the foreclosures and short sales that are being posted as sales and it's closed could be affected. And I'll use a good example. I have two short sales that are in process right now. They're taking almost nine months to be approved. So those numbers are finally coming out and being posted. So that's that nine months reflect. from the time that the buyers sell the con or sign the contract with the sellers yeah, till yeah. the bank approves Proves that, and that then sale. and so you may see a lower number just because of that reason. There's some short sales. So uh, if folks stay tuned next month, we may see a jump up in that pricing. I mean, it's almost going to be guaranteed. So stay tuned for that. Let me let me tell you yeah. about the uh, condo market um, today, April. Uh, last month, the postings were 310,000 for average price, 315 for a median price. A year ago, the average price was 308,000, and the median price was 290. So we are now beginning to see a climb in the condo price, where we were seeing it flat and continually uh, going down. So we'll post that on the so, TV. So lots of activity, lots of folks coming through oh, open yeah. homes. Um, how about multiple offers? Is that uh, commonplace now? Tons of multiple offers. And again, we're seeing that in a, a home that's priced well, good uh, good location, good condition. So those are definitely... So now, when you're in a multiple offer <coughs> situation, bless you. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> so, uh, so for folks who might be in a multiple offer situation and they're, they're coming in and making that... Um, how important are things like financing and having that in place a ahead of time? Uh, for, you know, and are they competing against all cash offers? Good point. Um, just did a virtual tour today, and the, and the uh, tour, in, uh, the guy doing the tour asked me the same question. I'm actually not seeing as many cash offers right now okay. as we were last year. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure why, but I'm just not seeing it. And, and so with your financing in place, being able to good, get a good sizable down payment, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more than 10%, 20% is, is nice. Mm -hmm. That should uh, lock you in as a good buyer on that property. Now, does that influence uh, a seller when, when a contract is, is presented or absolutely. an offer presented? I know it does with my clients, absolutely, with a larger down payment and a secure financing. And knowing the loan broker is okay. very, very critical, and I do look for that. So. Okay. Well, those are good tips for folks who are thinking about getting into the home buying market about how do you prepare yourself. Now, one quick question I have for you. Uh, May 12th, there was uh, information, FHA, pay down debt first, new rule for FHA loans. Borrowers need to pay down their collection debts before getting a federally backed loan. Can you talk a little bit about that, how that works? Well, um, you know, if, if folks have had some credit abuse, uh, bruises along the way, and maybe they have a collection or an account that um, is out there, and the cell phones and doctor visits are notorious for that. You open they the cell phone. They report those. They, to your they will report those. Wow. And so, you know, maybe you had a cell phone and you and you moved, and the bill never caught up with you, and there's a fifty dollar bill standing out there. Well, the cell phone companies are going to still try to collect that, and they'll put collections out there. Well, it used to be with those minor sort of things, we'd be able to get those, you know, taken care of pretty easily in, in the process. Now you really need to make sure that those are squared away ahead of time. Wow. You know, paid off, current, okay. um, so that they don't come back to bite you. Um, what if uh, somebody doesn't know that they have something? Is it wise then to periodically get a credit report and see what's in there? Well, absolutely, and that's part of getting pre-approved, you know, for a purchase is we will run your credit report and we will take a look at what's there so there aren't any surprises when you get to the, the 11th hour. Um, and you know, this happened in a number of occasions here recently as I've talked with folks and we've run credit. Um, you know, things have popped up that they didn't know were there. Right. Um, or something that was, you know, ancient history that thought had just gone away, you know, had ignored it. Yeah, you know, those things do tend to stick around. So, you know, taking a look early, taking a look at your credit report, and there are steps you can take to mitigate some of those sort of things, but unless you, don't, you, you know it's there, you right. can't deal with it. Excellent, excellent advice. We're going to wrap up uh, this segment here. This is for the month of May. And uh, we will then have our wrap-up for June, and we'll see if anything shifts both from your uh, part of your industry and, and mine and share that with the folks. If you have any questions um, that we can help answer for you uh, over the summer, please email me at d uh, Giordano, DJ at AOL.com. And Todd, how about you? Todd is T-O-D-D at SternMortgage.com. That's S-T-E-R-N, and the word mortgage spelled out M-O-R-T-G-A-G-E. 
Com. Great. Well, nice uh, seeing you again. Have a great summer. Well, I guess I can see the chili cook-off. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, so you'll come out and have some, some chili and then, then ride the rides there at the carnival. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Coming out. Good <laughs> That's a good combination. Okay. <laughs> That's a good combination. <laughs> you have a great summer with your family. Um, we'll be working in June, and uh, we'll be checking in with you and letting you know what the, what June looks like here in Milpitas. And um, see, we never know where we're going to pop up next. The Valley Homes on TV on the roll. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Thank you. See you again.